In this segment, we're going to talk about dumping the settings in the Trade Finder. So if you want to see the settings for a specific asset, the way you would do that, it would, you would actually go and edit for that specific ac ac asset and then scroll down to um, dump settings and use. And you would set that to true dump to a file, true, and then it will dump those settings to your chart tools data folder and we're going to tell it that we want it to be a CSV. So when I do this, this will dump the settings for the Canadian dollar. And you can see here, we're in the chart tools data, and here it is the Canadian dollar, the 60 minute interval, and it gives today's date and the time. So if I open this up, just expand this. What this will show us is it will tell you what the asset in the interval was, if any OSF files were loaded, which in this case there wasn't, and it will list all the settings for that specific asset. So that way if you're trying to check something out and make some comparisons or you want to understand what settings you have set, you can easily check them in this manner and you can actually dump the settings for the chart tool and compare the two of them as well to see if you have a difference between the setting and in your chart tool versus the um, trade finder. So if I want to dump all the settings, I'm going to go to edit for all symbols. And then we will change this to true, dump settings and use, dump to a file, true, and dump to the CSV. And you can see that it's going to send it to my uh, chart tools data folder. So now you can see now that the trade finder has loaded most of the different symbols and you can see that the different files are here for each asset and whether they're the 60 minute or the 15 minute interval of that asset so all those settings are being downloaded um, takes a little bit to download this many so once you get these settings it's a good idea to go back and um, turn that dump file off so that every time you make a change or refresh the trade finder you don't have to go through waiting for all the um, settings files to be dumped. So if we want to check the chart settings to make sure they match up you can go to Edit Studies, Customize, and then you can go dump the settings for the chart tool. And then you can compare the two. So right now we have the dump settings set to true and we've got them going to a file and a CSV and so they'll actually go to the same location so we'll hit OK here so you can see the chart tool settings right here for the Japanese yen on the 60 minute so we'll open that up 
And if we want to compare that, here's the trade finder setting for the Japanese yen on the 60 minute. So the easiest way to compare these is just to click in the A1 and um, hit um, control shift end and that will take you to the end of all the data hit control C and then you can go over here into the chart tools and hit control V and paste those and then you will be able to see just expand these a little bit so you will be able to see that no OSF files were loaded. You can see it's 60 minute. It's the Japanese yen. And then you can compare all the different settings to make sure everything matches. And it's pretty easy to do. As you just scroll through and you can see all the different settings. So if you were seeing a result in the trade finder that didn't match, then you could just compare the settings and um, there are a few differences. There's more settings in the uh, chart tool, but in general, it's pretty easy to check to compare the key settings that would affect how the bands appear on the chart and the um, trades that would be listed in the trade finder.